and you would have made a great Captain America. Thank you very much. I seriously, I'm a huge Marvel guy. Well, I'm also a huge Chris Evans fan, so uh, I'm, right. I was super psyched. Yeah, that no you disrespect. Got it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. But I think I think would have been. He's also just he's so ripped in that movie. My God. Yeah, but you I know wasn't what? ready to do that. I wasn't ready re- to do the egg re- whites re- or whatever Rocky thing he was in. <laughs> but you know, yeah, yeah, I think he was eating like an entire buffalo every day or something. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, there's always reboots and, and whatnot. So. Uh, you are kind of the uh, first of all great fracking movie, which I've been thank you waiting like two weeks to say. Uh, How'd sorry, it go? Did it feel good? It, not as good as I thought it was going to actually. <laughs> um, but you're uh, you're kind of the new Affleck. Of this Don't movie. say that. He gets very angry when you say that. No, I mean if there was uh, people have been saying bromance, which I didn't even know what that was, but. I certainly don't want to be any part of the Matt and Ben bromance. That, yeah. especially being from Boston, that's sacrilegious. I mean, they're like the mayor collectively. So, <laughs> Indeed. if they're having a bromance, I'm like the weird mistress that's off to the side. So, that's not a good place to be. Well, you know, I, I read this. I'm going to go on a tangent and waste time, but I, I read this article in details on on Affleck where he was talking about working with Blake Lively on the town, and he was showing her, "Hey, that's the house where Matt grew up." And yeah. She was like, "Matt who?" And he was like, "Matt Damon." And she was like, "Oh, you know Jason Bourne." <laughs> So it's, also, so it's also kind of I know, uh, m- but see, like enough. being from Boston, the Matt and Ben thing is like I mean I think we all have Google Hunting tattooed to our back somewhere. Right, so it's right. uh, to work with him and to be yeah. to be a part of this was amazing. And I'm a Damon and a Van Zandt. I mean I saw Jerry. That's how much of a nice I did too. I there yeah. you go. We're on the same page. <laughs> exactly. So um, I grew up in Indiana, and this movie could have taken place where I grew up mm-hmm. or in most of America that isn't LA awesome, and New yeah. York. Um, and, and I thought it was it was really what was really cool about it is that you dealt with some huge issues, but in a very human and relatable way. Thank and, you. and honestly, I sat down thinking like there'd be some really clear villains and really clear heroes, and, yeah. and I didn't feel like there was either. I felt like there were just real people. That's right? awesome. That's exactly what we were going for. You know, long before natural gas drilling came into the picture for this story, I had the idea two years ago, and um, the idea that I had was to tell a story about American identity. My dad actually grew up in a small steel mill town outside of Pittsburgh, and you know, like any industry town, it hit hard times, and his yeah. dad worked several jobs. They didn't have much, and I remember being an ignorant eight-year-old saying, like, so was your childhood awful? And he was like, no, quite the opposite. We had a really tight-knit community. We believed Mm -hmm. in each other. And we had the faith that tomorrow was going to be a better day. And I just thought that that version of America, we've moved so far away from. Mm -hmm. And then especially recently with the political landscape as it was, and we made so much noise for who was going to be elected, we kind of forget about all the people who are actually going to be affected by all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So to me, I just wanted to tell a story about community and how important it was to to shine some light on these places that, you know, is the the fabric of of our country. So when natural gas drilling came into the picture, it was the perfect backdrop for our story and what we wanted to say because it's like high stakes poker. We didn't want to be the definitive political issue movie. We wanted yeah. to tell a story about these people. And you know, what's happening with this natural gas drilling is exactly what we wanted to explore, which is real people living through this economic state with making really, really hard decisions. And mm-hmm. uh, it's it's not one side or the other like the... Yeah, I didn't you, feel that it was preachy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But this issue is very difficult to, to say, like, I'm on this side or the other. It's it's very complicated, and that's what we were trying to get across. Well, I thought you guys did a great job. Thank you so tackling much. Tackling some hard stuff. I so. really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks.